Maybe a bit. Well, if only Tim has had the time to sit down and do that sort of thing, instead of running around with us. You know, Tempest has shady associates. They might even know each other, if given the chance. It seems like a certain possibility. How did you come into contact with someone like Tempest anyway? Oh, we were hired for a job together. Didn't know what he was back then. Realized it soon enough. But by then we were too involved in other things. We needed him to... Well, broker peace. And then... As we moved on, we had already associated so much with him that it seemed silly to stop then. Hmm. I see. So I've loaded. I have loaded as well. Fantastic. The uh, area, as you approach, uh, it is also a one-floor uh, one floor building. Uh, not quite as made out of sturdy uh, construction as uh, the Harlequin's Flask, but certainly uh, does appear to be well-traveled, well-trafficked. It does have a bit of grass uh, surrounding it, which separates it from the Harlequin's Flask, adding, uh, you know... A beautiful feel, a beautiful feel to it. Like maybe it's not actually in one of the largest cities in the entire Dragon Empire. Uh, a uh, a rather tawdry sign proclaiming that this is the winch and chain, and that is done so with a voluptuous-looking woman uh, who is rather suggestively uh, dangling a chain in her hand that's attached to a collar around her neck. Huh. And she is Classy. holding it out, like to you, the viewer. Yes. Uh, beautiful windows uh, that are open as of the doors allow you to get a great look in at the open area place. It's not as intimate and as closely, you know, as close as it is. And there is a loud, boisterous conversation radiating from the inside outward as you approach. But as you get to the door and as you stand at the doorway, uh, first one head turns to look at the newcomers, and then he like elbows someone else, and then conversation quickly like stops as they notice all of you. And the friendliness and jocularity and fun completely ends as everyone turns to stare at you with some measure of unwelcomeness and hostility. That's the so, cook, uh, the servers, the dock workers, everyone. The guy behind the bar, all looking at you and with unmistakable body language indicating that you are unwelcome. I'm more sure we'll do a quick sort of threat check. How many of them appear to be, you know, armed and challenging foes in a battle? Ah. Uh. Could say. I mean, like, anyone could have powerful magic that would blow you apart to pieces, right? Well, Old man over there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Physically seeming like they would be a sort of a, a de decent, decent fighting warrior kind of type. Uh, well, not the cooker servers. Uh, I'll go ahead and put your token in here. Sure. Uh, it's easier for me to say who might be capable in a fight. The old man, the most dangerous of foes. The ranger. These two over here, who look as if they've seen hundreds of fights. 
-hmm. These two sitting here, who do appear to be the most well-armored and equipped of the lot, this sailor back here, and then this well-dressed high elf, slowly, like, lifting his head and setting down his fork, rotating his eyes to look beyond the stove. Even the dock workers, though, look like they could see some blood. Really, anyone who travels to Little Dragon Hall, almost as if it's like the actual Blue City itself, looks like they could have some fight in them. But for someone who might be an actual challenge for a champion tier character, it would be those I identified. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, we have business here with one particular person, so we should just walk up to him. Well, do we see do someone we know that that is particularly the person? much richer than the rest? Oh, yeah, we should actually, yeah. Well, they don't have name tags, despite you being able to mouse over them. So no, you wouldn't know that that dude is Arnaud. There's no neon sign saying, hello, I'm Arnaud. Oh. No. But is, he, is, is, he does look particularly more rich than the others here, right? He does, sure. I'd imagine we look for someone who's eating something that seems far too fancy for this kind of place. You wouldn't find that here. Like, oh, right. he wouldn't okay. have his food here. Someone yeah. whose clothes look fa far too fancy for some of this kind of place. Well, that would yeah. be fitting for here. Someone who, say, would belong in the other tavern. Yeah. yeah. That's what basically what we were told. More than one person, or... Well, these two appear to be the best well-equipped and well-armored of the entire lot. They're just oh. not the best dressed. Do they have any in sort of identifiable insignia on them? Not that you can see at this distance, no. But they're glaring at you with just as much hate and unwelcome attitude as everyone else. Oh. Oh, we'll make for the bar. Take a special look at this guy. The barkeep uh, is in his mid-50s. Uh, overweight, uh, with heavily calloused and scarred hands and face, uh, wearing simple enough clothes that a dock worker would wear. And uh, he would uh, actually have the audacity to sneer at you as you approach and say, What can I get, patrons of the Harlequin's flask? This is, uh, well... I heard you were competing and thought maybe uh, you would be able to offer something with a little more with base man's taste than uh, they had over there. I don't think I have anything that would suit your highly refined palate. Just give us the basic stuff then. Sorry, he actually, like, leans over and will actually, for effect, like, push over one of the bottles so that the glass shatters in the wooden floor. Looks like we're fresh out. He's dedicated. <laughs> <laughs> gotta give him that. I mean, he, he looks like a... Maybe like a level one guy at best. Like in terms of like power wise, you could easily smoke him, no problem. Yeah. Um, but his no will is that. bolstered, and he is determined. Being rude does not merit a death sentence. So. No, no, it, it's more like <laughs> it's more like he's dedicated by smashing his own wine. Yes, to, yeah, yeah. yes, like, committed to, to slight us. Go here, you find that almost uh, a little cute in a way. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> But he would go to that length too, because he doesn't really care. Like he's not like he needs the alcohol. It's more like a formality at this point. Right, right. So this is like a pay. Thing, is just really. like a welcome difference to yes. not have to pay for a whole bottle that he threw away anyway. Sure. So, so, so well, that's a shame. Any news going around town recently? We're rather new to the area. Yeah. Seems like a group of adventurers recently arrived here in the cozy little neighborhood of Little Drakenhall. Apparently well off, upper class ones, decided to make their home in the Harlequin's Flask. It's what I've heard so far. More might be forthcoming, but haven't gotten all the details just yet. Have rooms here? This is a tavern, son. Not an inn. Well, I 
Fart got the same from the last place. You really aren't doing a very good job at selling your tavern here. Do you know what decided, what how we decided to go to the Harlequin's Flask first? A coin flip to see which one is better. And well, from your reception here, we might as well just go back. Yes, you might as well just go back. A raised eyebrow. You are really not very good at this. Why would anyone want to come to this place? You, Your job in this conversation is then to tell me of all the great things you do here, and then I'll agree and, well, we'll become a patron here instead, hating that other tavern as much as you do. Yeah, honey. Thanks for telling me how to do my job. No problem. Think I'm uh, successful. But uh, by all means, please, you're welcome to not drink anything during your stay here. Well, apparently you were fresh out, so it might be quite hard for us to do so. Yes, yes, indeed. Hmm. Well, we'll look around. How how well does he seem to be doing with his tavern? Well, as noted, it does appear to not be as financially successful as the Harlequin's Flask. But then you would also remember that this tavern does not cater towards the upper class. It has wide open spaces. It does appear that along the walls and floors there are remnants of dried blood. And places. And uh, you imagine that this place could get far bigger and more crowded. It's just not at the moment. I'll look over to the guy and say, I heard you sometimes host uh, fights here doesn't even give you the the uh, convenience of acknowledging you in any other way other than a blink and a glare which matches all of the other people it's worth noting your presence here has stopped the cook the servers and the patrons there isn't any conversation other than quiet whispers to each other People aren't eating, they might be drinking, and they are all looking at you, every single one. Certainly seems like a merry place, this. I did suggest that we should go to this place first for exactly that feature. I am very interested in these fights, but apparently these people have decided on their opinion of us. Grand as I. Reminds me of home, to be honest. He looks around, just kind of curious to see how long people will continue to not talk as long as we're here. How long do you want to wait? <laughs> Three months. <laughs> I've brought a ten. What time is it of the day? Uh, say 4, 4.30 p.m. So there none of them are eating either? They're just sitting there? Yes. You okay. have stopped conversation and consumption of food. That is pretty hardcore. <laughs> Honestly, uh, like there is undisguised hatred and not hostile intent like they're going to walk up and like punch you. But if you tried to start something, you get the impression pretty much everyone, even the dock workers who would be outmatched, would try to come in on it. And the train. Uh, and the train, yeah. <laughs> so, could we look around the room and try to identify who this... Uh, or not this. Based on what? Based on the description we got. Looks like, what, uh, you didn't get a description. Out of place and fancy there and are three people who look fancy, though. Yeah, but... There's probably a male, uh, which would narrow it down to two. Yeah. But does this guy look but more like a I guard, I don't think or... they would even talk... Maybe. Like, he would even say anything to us anyway. No, he, probably not. Like they'd be like, are you this guy? And there's like... Just ignoring us. Saying, go away. Or something like that. I, I, I gave you descriptors based on what you would have seen outfit-wise. I said these two were the best armored and best equipped one, probably on par with what you guys have. And oh then my. this guy's the best dressed one. They appear to have magical stuff as well. You can't tell what? that based on your position. Like, you can't oh see, like, magic items based on, like, looking at them. Maybe they were super like a, a giant helmed, a giant horned helm, you know? 
One of these uh, things look pretty awesome. As it turns out, there are people who wish made to of be ice. What, like, <laughs> as it turns like, out, there are people who wish to be less ostentatious. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing outwardly so. Oh, uh, does he have gemstones on him? You don't smell any gemstones <laughs> in here. <laughs> All right. That looks weirdly at the other dwarf standing there. <laughs> Whereas, if you think about it, you smelled the fragrances of uh, turquoise and amethyst, and perhaps even a few sapphires in the uh, the Harlequin's flask. All right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Price has asked us to clean out these places. That would be nice. Uh. Durham tries to be as boring to look at as possible. He succeeds horribly. Okay. That means he's very interesting. <laughs> as it turns out, he is. Oh, all right. Good. Well, really, I, will. I get the feeling we're not welcome here. Oh, you do? <laughs> this is uh, looking at, at the uh, barkeep. It is indeed a shame. The Harlequin's flask didn't suit us, and now the only other tavern in this, well, place does not want to accept us. What comes with you? Visit once and you can never leave, they say, and well, it's true. I'm sure, in time, Felix took me to the back here. Mm -hmm. It's natural for you guys to be hazed a bit, I understand. There is a giggling and laughter. The steps of two individuals approach the front door, coming to a dead stop as they walk in. They see everything. They see who's sitting at the bar, and then they actually, like, slide on over here to sit down and start staring at you, too. <laughs> sort of do a little awkward nod. She sees them looking at him. I would raise a cup, but I don't have any. So it looks the buggy was added. Hazing. Sort of ritual we have to do to. No, you know you you made your choice. Anyone who travels to this little dragon hall, either knows about the choice or is a fool. You're not welcome. Could you there. didn't at least explain to me what the choice is composed of now. No, oh, as if you don't already know. Two right. taverns. The Harlequin's Flask, the Winch and Chain. You chose the Harlequin's Flask. This is the Winch and Chain. What does, what does this, what, what's the, it seems there's more to it than which one you're going to first. He looks as if, at you as if you are the stupidest person to have ever stepped foot into his tavern. Which is not exactly a look Joel Hiram gets a lot of, considering his vast intelligence. <laughs> no, but it's okay. Like this, you know, he doesn't feel intelligent. He doesn't feel threatened by this guy's right. intelligence either. So now, I will politely request that you folks make your way out of the winch and chain and seek your consumption desires somewhere else oh our desires are far different you have correctly identified us as well different and we seek to do business the Harlequin's flask did not suit our needs unfortunately no one here seeks to do business with you which is why you're being asked to leave hmm well done We'll leave the others there. A, a, a shrug. There, there's no point starting anything here. Polite nod back the to the body. The heads party. like slowly rotate and butt shift in their stools and chairs to follow you out. 
This building was made of wood, right? No. It's oh, still it. not as sturdy in construction and appearance as the Harlequin's flask. Never and, made of wood. And if you set fire to something, you would still be thrown in jail and executed. <laughs> if we were found out. Yes, if you were found out. <laughs> <laughs> Invisibility cloak, go. And where would all these fucking people go then? Oh. Oh. That's the vindictive attitude I like to hear from player characters, i.e. all the time. <laughs> hey, you know, we've got to live up to the stereotype. Yes, anyone who how, crosses how else you even all the slightly NPCs at any point. learn, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but they you know, don't learn. PCs have to keep up their reputation. That's all we have at this point. Yes. Without it, we're not. just homeless people, like, they... trying to annoy people. Mm, yes. for so, so what do you do now? Go back and ask what it looks like and... But <laughs> no, we, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if we can only identify him with metagame name tags, then that's... We, we can't just grab we, then we all can't, of the then fancy we can't people. Identify him because we'll be overcompensating for, for having known the metagame. Be careful looking at people. <laughs> Regardless... That was a very fruitless place. <laughs> yep. And I will say right now, if you got in there first, completely different environment. <laughs> but then we couldn't have gone to the other tavern. No, you could have gone, just like you went to this one. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a good thing we didn't bring everybody. <laughs> Try again next time. Yeah, some Tempest in here. Mm -hmm. Leon. No, we keep Leon as, as our ace in the hole in case the third tavern suddenly pops up. <laughs> <laughs> the secret tavern. <laughs> we start the secret tavern that, that no one can be a member of unless they ask really, really hard. Uh, People love things they can't be members of. All right. You are currently outside of the winter chain. What do you want to do? Did it seem like anyone in there had begun going there just because they went wrong the first time and were really too rich for the place but couldn't really go to the other one now? <laughs> <laughs> like, is it awkward? They went in there now and they, they, they kind of don't like the food there and but how, how would the other have, place won't serve them. How would you have defined that attribute? <laughs> the guy who awkwardly sits alone and sort of looking around like sort of sheepishly eating the food, like, dressed down, like, his skin way too clean, and... The problem and, with like, that is that no one was looking around sheepishly. They were all staring at you. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the easy way to fit in. I should just begin staring at Gogur, then back back <laughs> down, like, sat down, just keep looking. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> mm. Just pretend that you were there all You long. went to the other... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Betrayal! <laughs> You went with oh, another dwarf dressed like me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, we could just disguise ourselves, to be perfectly honest. I mean, we could, but probably not gonna fool anyone. But we could disguise ourselves with magic. Well, I could. You yes, could, yeah. true, but I could. Yeah, you could. <laughs> I think. Let me look at my spell book and, and reaffirm that <laughs> what that spell does. I have I've not yet used it, as it I mean, turns out. You so. wanted to try it before, but... Uh... But usually we end up fighting instead. <laughs> well, welcome to Newport. Well, we can't just fight instead. Well, you could. Wait, we could. Well, honestly, we could it kill anybody but that guy. <laughs> but I honestly... That's a bit many. Yeah. And I don't yeah. know how good they are, but probably some of them are decent. But even yeah. if we just, just, yeah, if we just started murdering people, that would be kind of bad. I think the three of us would go to that other tavern and there. say, well, let's go kill all these weak little fools in the other tavern. And they all come with us and we can, like, do a mob thing. <laughs> you want to <laughs> start a tavern on tavern like Turf War? <laughs> <laughs> Here. The rich people with high goons to beat up all the poor people, right? We just stand in Tempest to this tavern and get them all riled up and attack the other time we were in before, and then we you are in the right, and uh, then we can assault the, these guys. <laughs> so you want Tempest to 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 make them assault you so that you can feel okay about killing them? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> sounds really convoluted and worse than <laughs> Like that's pretty fucked up for Not only is it murder, oh, it's also a sort of manipulation into violence. Yes. Mm. I would I would be more more like we are in the <laughs> We just have We're in the right in the eyes of the guards, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What oh, do you know? Okay. We just happen to be the guards the, decide morality, huh? In the wrong place at the right time. I wouldn't say that we'd be morally right. <laughs> I mean, these guys are assholes anyway. Let's see here. The spell would last an hour for me, and I can only use it on myself at the moment. I have to be level 9 to target other people with it, so. Yep. It's unlikely to happen anytime soon. Yeah, yeah. Sure is. Well, you're still outside the wizard, <laughs> the wizard chain. <laughs> yeah, let's move away a bit. You going back out of the neighborhood? Back to that same alleyway? <laughs> Outside <laughs> the neighborhood. I mean, we can stand in front of this one if you like. I don't... I mean, we could, but... I was just, then nobody's I... talking in there still because we're kind of in the door. Yeah. No, right, no, right no one's here. talking. Right out here, they can just sort of hear us, our and steps it, stopping out here. They can't really see us. And it turns they out, oh, we haven't gone that far. They're not the only ones who are staring at you. There's folks who are walking around a little dragon hall, who, while walking, give you like hated like glares of how dare you enter the winch and chain after you went into the Harlequin's West. It seems like news of you having gone into one tavern quickly the spread to the with neighborhood. These they have too much time on their hands. Yeah, the fuck is wrong with these people? Well, turns out you're all champion tier, and you attract a lot of attention wherever you go. Yeah. Sure, but... Oh my still. god, they entered that tavern first. Maybe maybe Aurelia would have escaped this if she had stayed away from you folks enough. I mean, that, but, uh... that, that was purely a, a, a player <laughs> error there. Well, <laughs> as it turns out, that's what matters. Well, you know, um, as it turns out, this is the wrong tavern we we joined. We didn't want it. We wanted the other one. <laughs> it must have happened to some people before. You're it like, must be like, like a transfer program and secret. Apparently not. No. <laughs> well, you mean that the, poor guy who just you know he wanted the, the gambling den and now he wanted to have a little break up with a nice nice meal. And now he's stuck there forever without money to pay for it. Yeah. Hey, it's possible. Oh, you Richard! He's like, I'm a pig herder. Please, it, it's it's possible you can change tavern <laughs> allegiances. Yeah, uh, yeah there's like a, a a trader quest, something like that, to reset your influence with the factions. Uh, and now the other tavern people are gonna hate us because we went in here and everything's terrible. We could go back and try to take a look, but. If we go near that tavern, do the people seem to be like err as well? No. no. You made your choice. Why? Now they're now they're our friends, though. All right. So fuck the people in this tavern. They're assholes. Yeah. Right. Yes. Right. But we kind of paid a hundred gold to find out about that guy that we don't. Really yeah. Know. Yeah. Exactly so now we just need to talk people about how much of a shit that guy is, and then we want to beat him up <laughs> because he uses this tavern, and they will agree that he should be beat up, right? Perhaps. Like, if, if these people in the people in the other tavern are as dedicated to these guys, I think they'd be okay with us beating up the people in there. In general. Uh. What do you want to do now? Back to the first tavern, perhaps? And uh, then what? <laughs> okay. Now we complain about how shitty this other one is? Uh. Mm -hmm. And then it'll be like, you went there, you assholes. No, they're like, yeah, yeah, they're fucking shit. And then we'll be like, yeah. <laughs> and then we'll drink with them and befriend them. Become part of their community. And then we can bring them and beat this guy up because he's an asshole. We heard that he's really the leader of it. All right, so spend a day <laughs> drinking at the tavern, talking shit about this tavern. <laughs> I don't know, let's just go in there and see what happens. <laughs> All right, I revealed the All Harlequin's right. flask map again. You can go back to the Harlequin's flask. Fuck these guys, uh, man. That winch and chain is cheap, dirt-ass proletariat. Damn peasants. Yeah. Don't know anything about culture or money or, or being wealthy, privilege. They don't know any of those words. <laughs> uh, I gave them a gold piece, and they didn't know what it was, basically. <laughs> Go back in here. 
half expected it to be complete silence. Mm, no. Uh, as it turns out, there's actually the same patrons in here, although, like, oh, nice. food and drink have advanced a bit. Uh, conversation does, like, it's still mute, you know, it's not loud and boisterous. Uh, eyes do turn to look at you. Uh, and then there's, like, a ripple, and then, like, you hear, like, numerous chuckles spread out throughout the group. <laughs> God damn it. You should have half loudly proclaimed, man, that other place is shit. <laughs> Several nods <laughs> from various <laughs> people. <laughs> uh, oh. Colrin Selter, like, chuckles as you folks walk back. Yep, that's right, you made your choice the moment you stepped into Little Dragon Hall. Well, congratulations, you're in some business. And, uh, if you ever need some help with, uh, teaching them a lesson over there, then do tell. <laughs> Shogun said, no, no. I don't think anyone here is looking to start that kind of trouble. The guards of Newport do tend to give us a little bit of berth, but, uh, any sort of commotion like that would attract law enforcement. Hmm. So what's the reason for this, uh, Hostility between you two. Uh, shrugs. And <laughs> says, I couldn't say. Seems a bit strange, but... It's good for business. I'll kidnap these two and lock them in a barn until they have figured out the differences. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs>